Hello and welcome to your early tropical warning for October 27th, 2017. Before this video does start, this is proudly sponsored by Floyd Glass and Window. Check them out in the link below. So let's get started with this right now. The system right here. Let's look at this. So this is a, um, well, impressive looking invest. Um, and while the convection has weakened a little bit, you can see a new burst of convection firing off up to the north. You can see this is where the center is. Um, it's actually a little bit farther south. This is a very lopsided, um, well, eastern sided system. And while well, the western side is struggling to produce convection, that's really its only problem right now. We do have an upper level low and a mid level low, not a surface level close center of circulation yet. That's why this isn't a tropical depression, even though it does look like it does have maximum sustained winds of 35 miles per hour. Getting into, um, well, this thing's track, another Florida hurricane is possible. So what this would do is it w it'll likely be a pr tropical depression shortly. I give it a 100% chance of development. And what it'll do is it'll likely become a tropical storm as it's about to strike Cuba. This could be a hurricane, though. Um, we found a lot of surprises this year. If you remember, Maria back here had favorable conditions. It actually formed just a little bit off this map right around here. It was a Category 1 here. A category 5 here. So for this to maybe form into a tropical storm here, category 3 here, I don't know. Um, but we've had a lot of surprises this year. So for this to rapidly intensify into something is not out of the question. I don't think it's going to become a hurricane at this time, um, but it is a possibility. So um, yes, um, just people in Cuba, Florida, um, the Bahamas, um, uh, they just need to be watching this closely. See surface temperatures. Here's the invest. Things are looking favorable until you get into the green area. That things are very favorable. If you're 26 degrees Celsius or 80 degrees Fahrenheit um, or warmer, the the water is just going to be favorable. And especially once you get into around 90 degrees, 30 degrees Celsius, that's when you're really going to see. Um, very favorable waters, um, meaning that the theoretical energy is a category five, although it's obviously not going to hit that. Here is the um, well, the wind shear, and you can see the upper level winds there, and you can tell that there is um, definitely an upper level low, but this hasn't made it to the surface yet. That's why it's not a tropical depression. The system's expected to head up north, remember, and it's probably going to head into some wind shear. This is the um, factor that's really going to make this storm struggle throughout its life. Wind shear is just awful, except for where it is now. So after it becomes a tropical depression, maybe even a storm, this is probably going to inhibit it developing much further. Check me out on social media at Microcasting on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you so much for watching. This is Microcasting St. Louis, signing out.